This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. So today we'll be looking at how to implement a fit header and also how to add smooth scrolling to your Squarespace site. So as for the fits header, um, we've already applied it to this page where when you scroll down on the page, the menu or the header will still remain fixed at the top of the page. So you move up and down, the header is still there. Whereas on the default site, if you scroll down, that header isn't visible. It kind of stays at the top of the site. So scroll down, not visible. So we're going to fix that today. So this is, um, actually, I don't remember the name of this specific um, template, but it's not the Devlin template. But it does have that effect where you kind of scroll down and the header just fades into nothing. So I'm thinking this, the change that we're going to play now, the CSS that we're going to play now, this should work on any site. So the first thing you're going to do is to right click on the header area and go to inspect element. And you're looking for this specific tag, the one that starts with header. So if you right click and you landed here, then you're just going to go up to the element that starts with the word header. And this is this is what we're looking for, right? So what we really want though is the ID here that says site header, and it could be different on another theme. But this is what we're looking for. So we're just going to double click on this to copy it. So I'm just going to hit Control and C, and we can close our developer tool. Next, we're going to go into the back end of the site. So we'll minimize that and go to Design. Next, we'll go to Custom CSS. And here we're going to add our code to fit the header. So we'll type first header, and then we'll add hashtag and hit Control V to paste in that ID that we copied before. We'll add our open and closing curly braces. And right between there, we'll type position fixed, exclamation mark important. So what the important tag does is to override the setting, any default settings, and the fit says to fit the header at the top of the page. On the next line, we'll add opacity one, and that just will tell it not to fade into nothing as it's doing right now, just fading into nothing. So next you add our Z index and what this does is to kind of just place it on top of everything else on the page. So it's not like hidden be behind this like info and content text when you scroll down, it will always kind of remain on top. And just for, I guess, nice formatting, I'm also going to add a background color, but this is this, these last two lines starting with this one, these last two lines are optional to set the background to white and also the padding to 60 pixels on top and zero below. So these are optional. If your theme needs it, like I think this theme needs it to kind of make that header stand out as the page scrolls down, you can add it. If not, you don't need it per se. So I'm gonna save those changes and I'm also gonna just make the screen white so we can see what happens. So as you scroll down, the header no longer disappears, it just stays here across the top of the page. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So the, I'm just gonna refresh the page here. The next thing we'll be looking at is adding that smooth scrolling to your site. So we've applied it here on the, the page where we've made the changes. So if you click like the contact us button, it does a smooth scroll down to contact the contact us section. But if you do it here on the regular site, it just does like a a jump almost. <laughs> so we're going to fix that. So again, we're going to go into the back end of the site, design, custom CSS. And here we're going to type HTML, our opening and closing brackets, scroll dash behavior. Oops, I got that spell wrong. B 
set this to smooth, add our semicolon and hit save. All right, so I'm gonna just need to refresh because it has that block ID that we don't need. All right, there we go. All right, so now when I hit contact us, it does a smooth scroll down to the contact us section. So that's pretty much all we we need to get done. So that's it. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.